What's up everybody, Brett Medlock here. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the PlayStation Vita version of Attack on Titan. We have a PS4 review happening right now. I just wanted to get some information on the Vita version out as soon as possible. And the embargo lifted today, so I wanted to talk to you guys about what exactly is different about the PS Vita version compared to the PS4 version. So as you can see, the main difference is obviously the graphics. The PS4 version definitely looks and runs a lot better than the Vita version. But that being said, Attack on Titan isn't an ugly game for being a handheld game. I'd say it's it's definitely has a AAA quality to it. It's not like a full-blown AAA game. But it's not far from the graphics of uh, Freedom Wars, another game uh, sort of similar to this one actually. So besides the obvious graphical difference with the PS4 version, the PlayStation Vita version does run not great, I will say. Uh, there's a lot of pop-in when you're uh, traversing through the towns, and you know, that's to be expected when you're basically putting a PS4 game on a handheld. The issues the game has running doesn't really affect the gameplay. Um, there was very rare times where I would get stuck inside of an area or a wall or a glitch. Um, the game never crashed on me even once, which is just so surprising because whenever I'm playing this game, it's honestly hard for me to believe that it's even running on the Vita. There's so much going on. The areas are so wide open and huge. There's tons of enemies, tons of uh, of a uh, AI like walking around running around with you it's just amazing that this game is even running on the PlayStation Vita and I've seen some comments on some YouTube channels of people saying that they shouldn't even have brought it to Vita but honestly I couldn't imagine playing this game on my PS4 I just really enjoy playing any types of games whenever they're available on the Vita because the Vita's awesome so graphics and performance aside I jumped into Attack on Titan without watching any of the anime I know it's pretty popular but I always tend to wait until it gets uh, dubbed because I, I just don't like reading subs which I know some fans of this will think I'm crazy but I jumped into the game without knowing anything about any of the characters or the world or the lore and I think that's 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 one of the reasons why I enjoyed it so much because everything was new to me. I didn't know who the characters were or the world. I had to learn about the Titans. I had to learn about how you kill them and where they come from. And honestly, that was just a fun part of this game. Like it it was a ride the whole time. The gameplay is fun. The story is interesting. I like the characters. It has an awesome gameplay hook that has you zipping around these towns. You feel Honestly, I, when I first started playing, I felt like I was Spider-Man, which is something that we all want to feel like, let's be honest. I felt like Spider-Man jumping around the city, killing these giant monsters. Super weird for me, because I, I, like I said, I, don't, I didn't know anything about this. I just wanted to review it, because I love the Vita, and I love when games make it to the Vita whenever they're bigger games like this. So if I had to put it down on paper about everything that I like about this game, it's I like the story, I like the characters, I like the gameplay a lot. Sometimes could be a bit repetitive, but honestly, it's it's not bad because there's different characters and it, it always brings something new to the table every time you're playing as a different character. Even though there's performance issues, I really like the graphic style and I, I like how fluent and smooth traversing with the the hook claws are. I'm not I don't I can't remember what they're called, but feels really nice. One other thing that I liked that really caught me off guard was the stories within this game could sometimes be very impactful and emotional throughout it. Like, I remember almost my eyes watering because this scene was so emotional, which is just awesome, and I, lo I love whenever games can do that to me. And when it comes to things I didn't like about the game, of course the performance issues could be a, a little annoying, nothing horrible, and sometimes the gameplay could get a bit repetitive. And uh, lastly, I thought that the areas that you play throughout the game, there wasn't much variation between the areas, there wasn't many differences. I thought at the beginning I was going to see lots of different types of environments, but Throughout the game, they're all pretty similar. There is some spots where they look a, a bit different, but overall, you will be seeing a lot of the same types of areas. So thanks for listening to me talk about the PlayStation Vita version. If you know anything about me, you know that I love the Vita, and you know that I love talking about games on the Vita. So thanks if you stuck around for the whole video. Be sure to leave a comment if you plan on picking the game up, or if you've played the game and you want to tell me about it. I'd love some feedback. Subscribe if you like this video, and I will talk to you guys later.